We're suing Blair White. Here's why. Hi, my name's Eli. I'm a writer, activist, and graduate student. I'm also a trans woman and the subject of one of Blair White's latest videos. If you're here, you probably already know who Blair White is. She's the notorious trans YouTuber that promotes far-right conspiracy theories and chronically defames trans people. Her videos have caused immense harm to our communities, and I think it's time we start pushing back. That's why we want to turn Blair White into the next Alex Jones. Since she started making videos in 2015, Blair has sold out her own community for brand deals and celebrity among far-right outfits. More recently, she's made a huge profit in her series of video attacks on trans teachers, parents, and children. Actual children. The more outrageous her videos are, the more she stands to earn from them. Blair's videos have caused mass harassment campaigns against vulnerable people all over the world. I personally received hundreds of harassing comments, misgendering messages, and straight-up death threats since she made her video against me. But this isn't just about me, and this isn't just about Blair either. Far-right commentators like Blair feel that they're free to lie and defame queer and trans people without any repercussions. Trans teachers are being fired from their jobs. Trans teens are losing health care and trans parents are having their children taken away. In the past, Blair has acknowledged that she's defamed trans people. However, none of us have tried to take her to court before. So we're going to change that. In Blair's video against me, she's made dozens of false statements, ranging from rape to pedophilia to manslaughter. She hasn't apologized yet, even after knowing the statements she made were false. Thankfully, I have all the receipts. While being subject to this video that has half a million views, might be a little terrifying. I also see it as an opportunity. It's a rare chance that we can actually stop her from harming more people. Some of the allegations she made against me have been made by others before, and each has been disproven on their own. However, her video has some information that she just made up, and she knew was false when she was making the statements. In her video, she claims that I harassed a former partner to suicide. Not only was this person still alive, which is an easily verifiable fact, but Blair knew that they were alive when she made the video. I messaged her and she responded, but she decided not to mention it. Her actions are beyond humiliating. She didn't just say that I was accused of these things, she said it as though it were a fact. But because of this, it does create the legal grounds for actual malice. That is, knowing her statements were false while she was making them. This is the necessary component for defamation of public figures. And the upside of all of this is that it is a very clear-cut case of defamation. The question isn't if we can win, the question is how much she's willing to concede. Her actions aren't just about me as an individual. This is something much bigger. Jesse Earle calls it the right-wing disinformation pipeline. How right-wing groups create and generate misinformation. The pipeline that they use to give seeming validity to discredit and attack marginalized groups and people. A pipeline that literally generates itself all the way up to folks like Tucker Carlson, one of the top right-wing news shows in the world. Jesse, along with several other content creators, actually researched Blair's video and disproved nearly every statement in it. Even after Jesse's video received hundreds of thousands of views, Blair refused to respond. So now we're taking her to court. She can't keep making these videos and causing so much trauma in our community. We want to send a message that vulnerable people cannot continue being attacked like this for profit. So that's where you come in. I've retained a trans lawyer, Remy Green, here in New York. Hi, my name is Remy Green. I'm a civil rights lawyer and I'm representing Eli in this case. Our firm has, shall we say, experience litigating against Ms. White and winning. Winnable defamation cases are, for very good reasons, extremely rare. You have to clear a very high bar to bring them. But here, Ms. White has elegantly left over that bar, and we look forward to showing exactly how. The initial court cost will be around $60,000. I'm in school and obviously can't afford that. But with community support and the millions of people that want to see this kind of disinformation removed from the internet, we can make this possible. Don't get me wrong, I know that courts aren't always the best place to fix injustices. Courts chronically fail marginalized communities, and the odds have historically been stacked against us. However, Blair is beyond restorative justice practices. This is a clear case, and Blair White is weaponizing these same systems against us. She tried to have the DEA arrest me, and has called the cops on numerous activists before. All this content for her videos. We're here to say that this can't keep on happening. It's time to put an end to it.
finally, as a community organizer, I want to be as transparent as possible. All funds will be going to Cohen and Green Law. If we receive extra, we can actually strengthen our case with additional evidence collection. If they have funds left over after the case, they'll either be used for similar litigation or donated to organizations like the Marsha P. Johnston Institute, Trans Justice Funding Project, and the Okra Project. I'm not doing this for the money, I'm doing this for the message. If you have any questions about this fundraiser or the case, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just let me know in a message or comment. And Blair, I'll see you in court.